This is the Transformers The Last Night Premier Edition Deluxe Class Barricade. The figure is part of the first wave of these Deluxe Class figures in the Premier Edition from the Transformers The Last Night movie toy line, Wave 1. It looks so cool in his artwork. Just look at that. And here's the rest of the assortment. Amazingly, in this way, for, for, for us here in Manila, Bumblebee is the one that's selling like pancakes. I don't know why. And uh, for me, I thought this was the one to really, really be the, uh, the gem in the wave. And well, to a certain extent it is, but uh, I, had, I had really high hopes for this figure. And he's not what I expected him to be. I thought he was like, wow, I'm going to like barricade. And he's just, he's okay. He's, uh, we'll see. We'll see with the review. Anyway, he has a nice set of instructions. I like this shade. It's not too gray. It's like light gray at the background and very, very dark details on the instructions. And they're bigger, so they're a lot easier to follow. It's 12 steps, much easier than Berserker. He comes with several accessories. He has his pistol, which he can mount here on his forearm. Like Centurions, power extreme, and then he holster, like they're like a holster. He's got his billy club or his uh, nightstick, which is cool. He's sort of like a Decepticon uh, police officer a, uh, on the wrong side of the law. <laughs> so you can also put it there, and same way you can put it also here. I thought it was cool that he's got these notches here on his forearms. Yeah, so it looks so cool, look badass with his weapons right there. I don't know, whatever. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Let me just stand him up. And he's like a, you feel like he's normal now. He doesn't look insectoid or anything like that. Uh, from his earlier incarnation. He looks so dapper, you know, it's like a, like a Decepticon in uniform. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, okay, uh, hold on. There, and then he's got this. This is like a Gatling gun, or it looks like shotguns. Like, uh, he put together a bunch of shotguns and turned them into, like, a Gatling gun weapon. I don't know. So, that's what the those ports are for. Um, can... Right like that. What am I doing? It's not what they're for. <laughs> they're for the weapons, you idiot. Anyway, so it's there. You can hook it on either hand. It's right here. These notches right here. They're for those pegs. Uh, but the picture said it's on his left arm. So we're going to put it on his left arm. And again, just like Centurion. Power Extreme. You could go all... all, all, all there you go. I mean, it's, it's okay. Um, I thought it would look really cool up close and personal. But it kind of looks so corny to me. I don't know. Uh, customizer will probably paint this to make it look better. Maybe it's the color that's putting it down. So, in packaging, he looked much taller. Uh, I was expecting him to be much bigger than this. He feels kind of squat. Um, but then again, you know, Barricade has always been a little bit squat. So, here he is his earlier incarnation. Um, from the first movie. And, wow. Wow. <laughs> He's got in some abs. Uh, he's got in a waist, but it does not have any waist articulation. His feet, um, it's now like, he's more like an officer now. Uh, his arms are more proportioned. He still has these things. And his head looks more insectoid uh, than this earlier one. So, I don't know. Is this really barricade? Anyway. That's that. Okay. Uh, so that's the sculpt. It's okay. And here's the... 
it, it, it's on like a friction joint it's not on a on a pin so you can easily pop the roof off and a lot of people are saying this should have been a riot shield sure by all means you want to turn it into a riot shield or anything like something like that um will it peg no it won't and unfortunately just there's, there's, there's no way so what you can do is you just collapse that whole thing on him and then yeah he I could totally see it uh, maybe this could have been a riot shield or some sorts um, but as it is it, 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 it's just it's very difficult to do it without really scratching up the windshield so let, let's not do anything with it so I'll make sure you put it back correctly <laughs> correct side okay it's okay. Uh, the backpack is a little bit big. I thought it would be a little bit taller than the backpack would be better. It, I wish it could have folded in. So sculpt-wise, I'm a little bit disappointed. I, I was hoping he was a little bit taller. I was hoping... Uh, I was hoping there was a way to compress this one some more uh, based on the pictures I've seen. But this, this is it. That's as good as it gets. The weapons look cool though. He kind of looks like a policeman, but I'm wondering why would he disguise himself as a big giant robot policeman? Uh, yeah, so yeah, a little bit. So I know, I know it's cool as it is. I, was, I guess my hopes were just really so high for this one. Pain apps, that's probably my biggest disappointment with this one. I looked through 50 different barricades on the shelf i know i know i just had a lot of time on hands on my hands during uh transformers day um each and every one of of the figures i saw will have paint issues like this one there's always going to be some fleck some splatter on the hood from the lights here um this was the best one i could find but there were tons of uh barricades that had the blue and the red paint apps on his chest, which were really the lights, the police lights, they were like smudged, they were like over, over painted, or there was smudging, or over, uh, the, the paint was like spilling all over the place. Uh, it was crazy. Worst paint apps on the entire lot. And then lastly, it's the eyes. The eyes, some of them were had too much paint, some had too little paint, some had goofy looking eyes. This one had sort of just about the right amount of paint, but as you can see, some of the paint, some of the paint uh, is, sorry, some of the paint is missing here on his left eye, just a little bit because there's too much paint here. So, oh, I had a very, it was a very frustrating um, uh, uh, moment, like when you had to pick through several of them, I had to just take off all the stocks on on the shelves and just look for the best one i know i know it's it's crazy uh for me to do that but it's a toy right you should just get pick one pick any one you want but it's uh i feel it's you're it, they're charging 20 18 dollars for this figure uh here in manila and it, it just sucks that you know you're gonna get shoddy paint apps for most of it. So anyway, that's it. Uh, articulation for the figure, he's got a ball jointed neck, no waist swivel, he's got a ball jointed shoulder, and this one just keeps on popping up. No way to tab it down or anything like that. He's got a bicep swivel, hinge elbow, swivel wrist, uh, ball jointed hips that are very loose on mine. Uh, he's got a thigh swivel, and he's got a knee joint, hinge knee joint, just one, and a bit of foot articulation because of transformation. So that's that. You can keep, well, let's transform him. You can keep the weapons on his hips if you want to, uh, or you can take him off if you want. So, step one, easiest step to do. Okay, step two, do, oh, hold on, hold on. Rotate the fist so that the elbows bend outward. And rotate it, rotate it this way. And then do the same on the other side. And then rotate the fists this way. Okay. With this, you're in good shape. Okay. Uh, just keep it this way. All right. Now for the feet. Uh, I'm going to go and tab this for a while. And then just do this, do this. And then rotate, rotate. They should click together. Uh, but if you're having trouble clicking it for the first time, um, you can just wait till uh, you can tab these first to the hood and they will automatically just click in for you. Okay, so 
yeah, we'll do that. Unfold this, this, and do it like that. Um, this, and like this. And I'm, I'm having more trouble with this one than Berserker for some strange reason. Okay, and see? See how nicely it just clicks in? Um, all right, just click the rest of the, the roof, the doors. And if you've done this, then you're okay. Just make sure the hips are, are aligned. This one on mine, it's, it's a little bit twisted, so just fix it so it's straight. Okay, and then this is probably the hardest bit of the lot. Uh, hmm, maybe I should have... Uh, okay. The arms, you need to click it like that backwards once and then put it here. Now you're supposed to squeeze it inside there, so... Yeah, maybe I should have just left that open <laughs> for doing it. Come on! And this review has gone to the dogs. I'm so sorry. Okay. And you're supposed to do the roof last. So, transformation wise, I don't, I find this one more difficult than Berserker for some reason. So. Arr! Okay, you're supposed to tab in those. See those forearms? There's tabs right there. Right there. You're supposed to tab those forearms in. Okay. Like that. Pull these up. And then tab them here. Tab them right there. And they love to pop off. I don't know why. Ah! Okay, and now for the final piece, which you should do last, <laughs> but I did like third or fourth. And his feet have just really come up. See, I, I don't understand why people hate on that Berserker when this one is just so difficult to transform. Then again, see, a lot of people like this figure, they're raving about it. I'm the one who hates on it. Go figure. Okay, and on my copy, this one just does not want to stay in place. Okay. Ah, okay, after five minutes of doing that, transforming it, I hope everybody got that. Um, that's how you transform him. Uh, this one, tab it right here at the back. Or close it up like that. It looks even more ridiculous. I think this one looks better. All right, and here he is with his original barricade. I'm sorry, I, I'm a big fan of the original form of barricade. I think he was the better figure between the two. I had very high hopes for this one. Maybe that's why I got a bit more disappointed with this one than Berserker. Uh, I wanted to give him a 10 out of 10. But it, it, it looks like I'm just going to get him a, uh, an 8 out of 10. 8.5. Same as Berserker. Uh, yeah. I wanted to give him like a 9, 9.5, or 10. But yeah, 8, 8.5 for me. That's, that's as good as it gets. So, yeah. Uh, looking at the police car. It looks great, honestly. it's uh, This one was a Saline. Now he's... What is this? A Mustang? Or a... Uh, no, it's a... Oh, what is this car? I forgot. Somebody tell me. It's not a Camaro. Is it a... Is it a charger? No, it's not. I have no idea. I'm sorry. I apologize. I forgot. I, I, I had it written down somewhere. I just I just forgot what it was. Somebody tell me what kind of car this is. But it looks great. It looks more like a sporty a police car than this one. This looks okay. Uh, but 
it's much different. Um, to a certain extent, I do like this one. But overall, I, I, I'd stay with my old barricade. This one was great. Uh, maybe the Takara version will have better paint apps. I don't know. Maybe they'll re-release this guy in a different color. I don't know. But as it is, it's a little bit disappointing. Um, and, and it was my fault for having too much high hope, too high hope of hopes for this figure. So there you go, folks. Uh, sorry for the lengthy review. What else is new? Uh, this has been the Transformers The Last Night Premier Edition Deluxe Class Barricade. Thanks for watching.